After seeing these two virtuoso performances by architects who are absolutely at the top of the game, I thought it would be interesting to talk to the New Zealand Institute of Architects that they both belong to. So we're meeting now with Beverly McRae, the chief executive of the Institute. Beverly, commissioning a new building is one of the most exciting, but perhaps also one of the scariest things that people ever do. Um, as the chief executive of the New Zealand Institute of Architects, would you like to tell us how an architect is trained to make sure they've got the skills necessary to do that job? Yes, it's quite a long process. It involves a five-year degree at university, and then following that, a minimum of three years working with an architect. And after that three-year period, further assessment. And only at that point can you call yourself an architect. You need to be registered to call yourself an architect. OK, so it takes seven or eight years of training to be an architect. Tell me, after that, how do architects keep their skills up to date? Well, it doesn't stop there. Uh, every five years, once an architect is registered, um, they need to undergo a re-registration process and they need to show that in that five-year period they have undertaken ongoing education. So it's a really demanding process to become an architect. And the reason, of course, why architects do all this, Beverly, is that they want to be able to give the clients the best possible value for money. Yes, it is demanding and I think people often underestimate that. Um, there are a lot of building designers and people who call themselves architectural designers out in the marketplace um, and they're not necessarily qualified in any way. But because the term architectural is sometimes used by building designers, there can be some confusion about what an architect actually is. Clearly, to become an architect, you have to develop a wide range of skills and knowledge. Beverly, would you like to talk to us a little bit about that balance of art and science that an architect has to have? Yes, um, an architect needs to obviously be technically competent. They need to know how a building goes together and how a building gets built. But they also bring to the project, of course, um, their flair. They apply their art to the project so that the end result is more than just a collection of technical solutions.